Bonus race time then with the 10 show. I think this is a group one, but it might be one of those banded group ones that nobody really wants. Golden 60 at the top for Dan Hughes. Hatch Defender for Munas Milan's Richard Dan Hughes. Green Goddess for Padre Hogan. Missiles Locked. Paul Rhodes, the outlaw for Nick Driver. Double Shot Daniel French. Zimbard Brunel, Paul Rhodes. Replica Padre Hogan. Townhouse David Robertson. Blood Orange Daniel French. Double Indemnity Leon Van Rensburg. Friendly May Alex Cherry. And Katasi Squala for James Shea. It's difficult to tell whether it is one of those low grade grade ones because one or two of the top trainers have somehow managed to get horses with really low marks this season not quite sure how that's happened but they're away and racing and we'll maybe talk about that at the end but it's friendly mate who's gone off into the lead for alex cherry hatch defender is in second then double shot double indemnity golden 60 is after that replica is the early back mark of the other padre kogan horse is also at the back green goddess townhouse also towards the rear so into the final mile they go friendly may is in the lead from golden 60 and hatch defender then double indemnity and double shot with milan's richer after that one missiles locked is next and then blood orange the outlaw is towards the front of the back group if that makes any sense friendly may the leader there by two to the golden 60 in second then missiles locked has moved into third then double shot hatch defender is there on the inside as well isn't bad brunel and double indemnity are also well placed but lands richer trying to come around the outside blood orange trying to make a forward move quasi squala trapped in on the inside the outlaw being pushed along townhouse switching around the outside and green goddess and replica still the back two as friendly may continues to show the way missiles locked is now clear second golden 60 trapped on the inside trying to get a bit of a burst through there looking for a split he's double indemnity that was trying to barge its way through had to be snatched up on the outside hatch defenders holding it in has come through to challenge for the lead hatch defender missiles locked on friendly may double indemnity nowhere to go on the inside then golden 60 quatsy skoala is also going to try and barge through that gap on us not nowhere to go either around the outside townhouse is coming through as well they're beginning to bunch up two furlongs to go missile locked is in the lead friendly may then quatsy squala has now got a split friendly may is now beaten replicas dropping out as well but it's now missiles locks and quatsy squala as they come down towards the final furlong missiles locks and quatsy squala townhouse is third replicas trying to run on then double shot green goddess from the back as well but it's quatsy squala who's in the lead quatsy squala from missile lock Quatsy Skoala from Missile Locks and Quatsy Skoala's going to take it. Missile Locks second. Townhouse third. Replica then double shot. Don't be surprised if this comes up as a steward's inquiry because there was a lot of argy bargy. A lot of horses being blocked and that Quatsy Skoala. Oh no, no steward's inquiry. So obviously not bothered about that today. Quatsy Skoala takes it for James Shea. Missile Locked was a second. That's Paul Rhodes. Townhouse for David Robertson was third. Replica for Padre Hogan fourth. And double shot for Daniel French fifth. So that was, in fact, then one of those 0 to 100 group ones that nobody wants. Let's get rid of them. We don't need them. The whole idea was to bring races in to let the middle, the middle and lower trains have more chance of winning. They don't need to be called group ones because if you win one, you don't. It doesn't count as a group one. I would won one of these once. I still class myself as never having won a proper group one race because it's not a proper group one race and when you without being disrespectful to anybody here when you look at the lead at the winner james shea paul rhodes david robertson padre hogan daniel french they've all won real group one races today well not today necessarily but this season so it's just another benefit for them isn't it there's no point to them get rid of them